Sequestration strikes again. This time preschool children are feeling the effects. Today, parents marched to their local senator's office to get answers and present a petition against education cuts that will affect the Head Start program. Greta Cruz is in the newsroom now with how thousands of children could be impacted. Greta. Well, Archie, it's really a one-two punch we're talking about here. Sequestration, which means some 800 fewer Virginia Head Start slots or comparable program cuts, and even bigger reductions looming in the proposed federal budget. Through the doors and down the hall to Senator Tim Kaine's Manassas office, they went. Yeah, these are petitions we've collected. It's a big stack. <laughs> More than 6,000 petitions opposing cuts to Virginia education programs. Congress has already cut $17 million from Virginia schools through the sequester. Um, and now uh, Paul Ryan and other Republicans in Congress are looking to cut an additional $6.9 billion. Affecting most deeply low income, at risk, and special needs families. Dana Forrest's daughter Savannah has Down syndrome. To make sure that she gets the education that she deserves so she can be a functioning member of society when she gets older. Already, sequestration has meant a 5% cut to Head Start programs. The Georgetown South Early Head Start in Manassas serves infants to three year olds, including Samantha Cruz's daughter, Bella. She's 15 months and she loves it. The kids learn developmental skills in a loving environment, and Cruz says any cuts would be tough. I would have to figure out completely different alternatives to be able to go to work and, you know, provide for her. So, yeah, it'd be, it'd be very hard. As for the petitions, we will make sure that the senator uh, gets word that all of these folks are concerned. And they're hoping he can do something about it. Now, some Head Start programs tell me they're reducing staff or services instead of cutting slots. And while the Senate budget proposal that Kane supports would restore the 5% sequester cut and also add money, the House version would cut more. Congress has till September the 30th to hammer out a deal. Live in the newsroom, Greta Cruz, ABC 7 News.